As I wandered deeper into the woods, the sun began to set, and the trees grew dense around me. The path I had been following had long since disappeared, and I was hopelessly lost. My phone had no signal, and I had no food or water with me as I stumbled through the undergrowth. I began to hear strange noises in the distance. At first, it was just the rustling of leaves. But soon it became something more sinister. A low growling noise it showed through the trees, and I could feel my heart racing in my chest. I tried to quicken my pace, but my feet felt heavy, and my legs refused to move as quickly as I wanted them to. The noises grew louder, and soon I could hear the sound of footsteps coming closer and closer. Panic began to set in, and I ran blindly through the forest, trying to escape the unknown predator that was stalking me. But no matter how fast I ran, the footsteps continued to follow me, getting closer and closer. As I turned a corner, I came face to face with a creature that I could only describe as demonic. It was towering over me with glowing red eyes and razor-sharp claws. I was frozen with fear, unable to move or scream. The creature let out a bone chilling howl, and I knew that I was doomed. I closed my eyes and waited for the end to come. But when I opened them again, the creature had disappeared, and I was alone once more. I stumbled through the woods for hours until I finally stumbled upon a clearing. In the center of the clearing was a strange circle of stones and I knew that I had stumbled upon something ancient and otherworldly. I collapsed in the center of the circle, exhausted and terrified, and as I closed my eyes, I could feel a strange energy enveloping me. When I woke up, I was back on the path that I had started on with no memory of how I had gotten there. Despite being back on the path, I couldn't shake off the feeling that something had changed in me. My mind felt different, as if it had been opened up to a whole new world of possibilities and horrors. Every time I closed my eyes, I could see the creature's red eyes staring back at me, its sharp claws inches away from my face. I knew that I had escaped with my life. But the experience had left me scared in ways that I couldn't begin to explain. As I made my way back to civilization, I couldn't help but feel like I was being watched. Every rustling leaf, every creaking branch, felt like a warning that something was still out there, waiting for me. When I finally made it home, I tried to put the experience behind me, but I knew that it would always be a part of me. Every time I closed my eyes, I could see the strange circle of stones in the clearing and I knew that I had stumbled upon something that was beyond my understanding. Years passed, and I grew old and gray, but the memory of that night never left me. As I lay on my death, I could feel the presence of the creature once more, waiting for me to join it in the unknown depths of the forest. And as I took my final breath, I knew that I would never truly escape the horrors that I had encountered in the woods so long ago. After my death, my family found a strange journal hidden in my belongings. The journal was filled with pages of frantic scribbling detailing the events of that night in the woods and the strange circle of stones that I had stumbled upon. But there were also pages filled with strange symbols and incantations, as if I had been trying to unlock some hidden knowledge or summon something from beyond the veil. My family was disturbed by the journal and decided to burn it, hoping to put an end to the strange legacy that I had left behind. But I knew that it was too late. The knowledge that I had gained in the woods was now a part of me, and it would be passed down through the generations, a dark legacy that could never be escaped. And as the flames consumed the journal, I could feel the presence of the creature once more, 
whispering to me from the depths of the forest, calling me to join it in the darkness. I knew that my family would never be safe, that the horrors that I had unleashed would haunt them for generations to come. But I couldn't bring myself to regret my actions. The knowledge that I had gained in the woods was too powerful, too alluring to resist. And as the flames died down and the darkness enveloped me once more, I knew that I would spend eternity searching for the answers that I had sought in the woods so long ago. Forever lost in the unknown depths of the forest, in the years that followed my passing, my family began to experience strange occurrences that they could not explain. They would hear eerie whispers in the night, and objects would move on their own, as if moved by an unseen force. As the years went on, the family became increasingly convinced that the legacy of my encounter in the woods was not something that could be easily forgotten or dismissed. They began to hear stories from others who had ventured into those same woods and had never returned. Rumors of strange cults and ancient beings that lurked in the shadows. And as they delved deeper into the mystery, they discovered that the strange circle of stones that I had stumbled upon was only the beginning. There were other circles, other places of power hidden throughout the forest, each one more terrifying than the last. The family knew that they had to act, that they had to uncover the truth about what had happened in the woods so many years ago. They began to gather information, suring old books and documents, and seeking out the few remaining people who had ventured into the forest and returned. Slowly, they began to piece together a dark history, a story of ancient cults and forbidden knowledge of beings that were not of this world, and of a power that was too great for any mortal to control. And as they delved deeper, they began to realize that the horrors that they had uncovered were only the beginning. The forest held secrets that were far beyond their understanding, and the legacy that I had left behind was only a small part of a much larger, much darker story. In the end, the family could only hope that their newfound knowledge would be enough to keep them safe, to protect them from the horrors that lurked in the depths of the woods. But deep down, they knew that they could never truly escape the legacy of my encounter in the forest, that it would haunt them for generations to come, and that the unknown depths of the woods would always hold secrets that were beyond their understanding.